So, more or less on topic, on, on target. We're good to go. Yeah, just talking right over the uh, video without making any introductions. Uh, <laughs> I'm oh Sazero, shit, we were start and, uh, when we were supposed to start that. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. <laughs> well, we can do a retake if you want. No, it's fine. Keep this. Alright. All right, we're so good to go. With me today, I have uh, yeah, it's a totally pro here. Uh, I have a guest commentator today who is not Sonic Rules, and uh, I'll let him introduce himself. Hello, my name is General Yeti. I'm going to be your co-commentator and professional bad opinions haver for this evening. Right off the bat, let me cement my position as worst co-commentator. I don't particularly like Laguna's playstyle. <laughs> really? I don't know. Well, I can, I can, I, I can kind of see that. Uh, he sort of starts off a little rough, uh, but I just got a new attack for him, which will kind of alleviate some of his problems. I, I don't know what it is. Honestly, I like playing as Vaughn more than I like playing as Laguna. So. Mm. You Filthy monster. I know, right? Kick me, out, <laughs> kick me out of the call right now. Just end this. Right. Uh, no, I, I think it has something to do with the way that his the timing on his attacks works. Like, kind of how like there's a small delay before it actually comes out. Right. Well, I mean, some other characters have the same problem, which is much worse. Uh, I think the worst part about Laguna is probably... Uh, Oh, by the way, I hit that guy through his tornadoes. Uh, I think the worst part of Laguna is that he has very little air presence. Uh, and he can't take advantage of blocking an opponent's attack as well. I don't know, it not, might not entirely be that. Uh, because I've um, I, I've played both Dissidias, so... <laughs> you're going to talk about bad air presence. Uh, um. <laughs> well... Oh, by the way, didn't you attack uh, Ragnarok Buster? It's a very good attack. Uh, that's the one... We have that in both aerial and ground forms, right? Well, no. In the aerial form, he sort of uses it as a sword. And on the ground form, he just uses it as a giant fuck-off laser. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I remember when I was playing through uh, Dissidia Duodecim my own, uh, my own time. It... It basically just ended into, I'm going to spam Ragnarok Buster over and over again until I can just kill the people with my base bravery because fuck using his bravery attacks. Right. Well, I, I like him. I don't know. Uh, maybe because I came straight from uh, the original game and uh, when I started playing Laguna, I was like, holy shit, this guy's awesome. He has a machine gun. It's, er it's everything. It's just everything I wanted in life. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, but I think Terra has a much worse problem than Laguna has. Uh, in terms of air game, or well, just in terms of the whole uh, being uh, having a delay on her attack. Uh, I don't know. Example, I, mm, I don't know. I like playing as Terra. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I don't exactly like playing as Terra, but um, <laughs> uh, I'm. I don't know. I like playing as Terra more than I like playing as uh, Laguna. Entirely granted, I do end up spamming the HP attacks for, for Terra too, but... Yeah, but even when I do that with Terra, I'm still missing most of her attacks, and I'm like, I'm just sitting here looking pretty! <laughs> it's, uh, it's distraught, yeah, distraughting for me. Oh, right, hey, so... it's a summon gem. Oh yeah, I know one of those that I don't use. <laughs> summon gems are useful, and, and I don't know why you refused to use them, but... It's just because I'm too lazy to set them up, <laughs> so and, and keeping track of when they're available and when they're not. So I just decided, fuck it, I'm just going to not use it at all. I also have free X charges because I hug hug those like uh, elixirs. I don't know why. Yeah. Um. Um. I don't know. I I usually end up only having one or two X charges on me, and the rest of them are just different chain chain links because I enjoy spamming as much KP as possible. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have the worst chain right now, which is the jump chain. <laughs> it could. Uh, I mean, I've used that one before, and it's. It there are certain places where it is extremely useful. You can get like I think a full like eight chain if you use it properly. Oh. But this is I not those, one of them. <laughs> no, and typically so far I've just used the chains that I've gotten from the uh, overworld, which is usually fit at the gate I was in. Uh, but in this case, it's just, just how am I supposed to use that? So anyways, the Ragnarok Buster is probably one of Laguna's better attacks. Uh, because it can actually pierce terrain. And it has pretty good tracking. 
so the only real way to avoid it is if you uh, dodge over Laguna, which is his blind spot as a character. I don't think he has any attacks outside of his satellite. To, uh, uh, yeah, I actually. So some of the things that can be a little hard with the city is knowing what is going on. Uh, I mean, when I play it, I know okay she's up there, so I just use my uh, uh, my assist to attack her. But as the viewer, they're like, what the heck is going on? It, it's the difference in playing and watching, because I mean, yeah. it, it's kind of weird that you just kind of know where everything is at any given time if you're playing the game. But when you're watching, it's like, wait, what the hell just happened? <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, kind of weird is that uh, Kefka's tower, which is the map we are on right now, has a roof, but I can still use uh, the satellite attack, which normally gets blocked by uh, terrain. I I mean, they're not gonna they're not gonna be jerks and completely ruin <laughs> half of his uh, <laughs> half of his attacks just because the immersion might be broken. But <laughs> in, in my Final Fantasy game, <laughs> oh no, my realism in this Final Fantasy Magic Gun game. What will what is going on? <laughs> no, I, I have to say, it would be fun though, just, you know, to mess with players. Oh, his sniper rifle attack, that's probably one of the ones that I don't like for whatever reason. It's... I don't know. It, I can never control the damn thing. I, there are two schools of thought on using it. Uh, I just use it as a direct attack, and if there's a wall behind the enemy, it will uh, ricochet off that and typically hit them. Or you could be like a Call of Duty trick shot wanna be and aim at the ground or uh, at the walls manually and try to hit with the ricochet itself. But I can understand it's a pretty hard thing to, to hit with. I typically just, you know, shoot it and hope it hits and if it doesn't, well that's too bad. Oh man, but if it does, I'm so depressed we're not gonna get to see his X burst yet. Mm. Aww, well I... Spo uh, yeah, we'll never see that. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's probably the best part of playing Laguna, seeing that X burst. Yeah, it's... well, it is the greatest attack ever. <laughs> Go for the chain, yeah! Nope, nope, no, we're gonna use the chain. No. So another thing about Laguna is that the satellite attack, you can just spam over and over if you have a terrain advantage where the enemy can't directly see you. Mm -hmm. So you have this position where you can attack the enemy and they, they just have to focus on dodging. Now, let's go for the yeah. One. Not that it's Ooh, very geez. effectful, but sometimes it works. I love fighting the gold guys, they're great. They are free experience at the very least. Some of them are jerks. Uh, like the ones that just automatically set your bravery to zero and then just run away forever, but... Yeah. That's, that's true, I don't think I've run into any of those yet. But really, it sort of boils down to summon stones being jerks. Or oh, hated those summon stones. Oh, hey. Uh, this is Carmungle, yes. Yes, it's actually a very good uh, summon stone. And I would recommend using it if you were into that. Let's see, Carbuncle, if I'm trying to remember correctly, he's the one that automatically sets your bravery to whatever theirs is, right? I think I skipped over it pretty fast and I didn't read it, but uh, I think it sets the uh, bravery yep. to zero. He, he, oh, it, it's the other way around. It sets the opponents to yours. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the trigger condition was if uh, uh, you get low on bravery or something along the lines of that, it will trigger and set your enemy's bravery to what yours is. Just leave it to I me. think. I actually did read it. Yeah. <laughs> Also, you're gonna hit him on myself a little bit here. Or oh, more specifically, the AI. I think if the. Oh, by the way, wiggle wiggle. <laughs> oh god. So, the AI can be a little bit repetitive sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is going on? Uh, I, I don't. I don't know what is going. On. It just kept using the same move and. Uh, while I block the damage from the rock hit, I still get staggered, so I cannot counter attack. Well, this is also, this is probably the best part to just you know mm, dodge, not jump straight into it. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why I didn't dodge it. Maybe because I was sort of caught in that loop of the same thing happening over and over again. So it, eh. it was a brain fart. Ah, uh, Ragnarok Buster, you'll never be amazing. Especially when I, sometimes the AI doesn't really recognize that it's in danger like that. 
because there's terrain in the way, and when you hit them anyways. Also, uh, <laughs> I deflected his bullet with Ragnarok Buster. Okay, sure. Let's just. <laughs> this is a, just a comedy of errors at this point. <laughs> I mean, things happen, and I just go with it. <laughs> but at the very least, I managed to do a fairly decent combo with an assist. Mm hmm. I, I, I see you're still not using accessories properly. No, no I, I think it's, at this point it's because I forgot to set them up, because mm. I only have three slots and don't really have any modifiers to put on them yet. Yeah. I I don't know. Um, I've, I've always found that uh, accessories are either really worth it or really not. And most of the time, I just give him, like, um, power boost. And then that's it. I don't even bother with trying to get the uh, the multipliers. That's understandable. Uh, though there are some multipliers you can give him, and depending on what sort of setup you want on him, uh, you can you can get some something decent. Sometimes you want to use multipliers. I, I think I use multipliers like like all of once when I was I don't even remember what I was trying to do, but it was. Um, I'm trying. I'm honestly trying to remember, but it was like a fight that I I could not win no matter what I did, until I just huh. started using multipliers that went crazy high. I, I think I used one of the more powerful setups because I, I this was near the end of the game and I had all the materials for it. So I was getting like 20 times on a uh, power boost of 5%, so double damage. Oh, well that's cute, but that's typically not the most powerful builds that I in this idea. It was probably the best thing I had at the moment. Mm. Well, that's, that's true, but there are some really disgusting things you can do with uh, accessories, and typically the reason uh, accessories and items are banned in the... Uh, well, when the game was competitive. Wait, shit, there's, there was competitive for this? Yeah, I think there was. Oh, I didn't actually play it. Uh, that might have been. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was. There probably was. Everything's competitive on the internet. Yeah. Also, for some reason, the AI, I, I realized at, at the very at this point, when the AI, when I blow them into a hole and they try to get up immediately, I can hit them with the, with the laser. <laughs> uh, exploiting the of, AI for fun and profit. Never gets old. Yeah. That's typically, the, that's the majority of my gameplay, actually, is exploiting the AI. I think if I played against a real human opponent, I would get my ass kicked. <laughs> um, oh. Because, I mean, so far the AI has been really bad at blocking. I mean, uh, to be entirely fair, this one was, what, level 12? 9? Yeah, around that? Yeah, 9. That's, that's true. I only left it in because it had 1 in it, and uh, I just wanted to beat a 1 some more. Oh, Vaughn, you're terrible. He really is. He just, oh, here's an exit. Let me just... Oh, now I know ha I don't have an assist anymore. Vaughn, you useless fuck. Yeah. Also, I got a new attack from this fight, so I had to sit that in. Hmm. Huh. Well, now. Is this my first time through here, or my second? The only thing uh. we can tell you is that it is your last. <laughs> Who's there? A warrior of Cosmos, are we? Come with foolish thoughts of slaying us. Oh! Hey, uh, no need to get upset. Uh, no offense meant. I'll be on my way. <laughs> so soon? We've not had a guest in some time. At least allow us to bid you a proper farewell. The DS release, but I don't know. Oh, right. Yeah, those games get re-released all the time. <laughs> Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy V has like three releases now, right? <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy V also had that uh, Come, that uh, sequel game, I think. Yeah. Uh, no, that was four. That was four. All right. Well, anyways, uh, the Cloud of Darkness. We have fallen a lot uh, at the Reveries of Mannequins. And uh, her accessories gives her modifiers to uh, being far away. So of course you can already glimpse that her AI will try to stay as far away as possible. 
at this at this point it it's uh bad for her too because of that cursed ring. So yeah. I mean she, she'll take yeah. extra damage. Maybe Only problem still is in. I don't think any of our attacks will reach that far. Uh, no, even the, even the sniper rifle. Even a sniper. I mean, you have to charge the sniper rifle up fully, maybe. But even our satellite laser, which has a huge range, is outside of her uh, attack radius. Yeah. Also, the new attack, which is uh, pommel. It uh. Well, it hits someone with the pummel of his machine gun and uh, sends them flying, which allows me to chase them. Just randomly kick. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> um. Also, there's that uh, that thing you wanted to see earlier. Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Yes. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to actually kill her with it. Uh -huh. uh, that's okay. The ultimate Ragnarok cannon is the best thing. Uh, it really is. Even though I, mean, I hate playing as Laguna, I love his <laughs> X-Burst. It is the best thing. Uh, especially this is this battle with the, the Cloud of Knockage, which is just, you know, laser battles. Yeah. I, I always found the, the, um, the Cloud of Darkness a hard enemy to fight. Just because of, like, the versatility of her attacks. It is time we put an end to this game. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? Frozen by fear's icy grip? Uh, of course not. No, not not at all. Just, I, um, I was just admiring your, uh, appearance, is all. Not, n not any particular part of your appearance, my- Oh! 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 oh. oh leg cramp! <laughs> Unbelievable. Cosmos must rest well with brave defenders of your like. Uh, hey, don't look at me. I couldn't believe it either. Somebody had to tell her how to pick them better, you know? Oh. So, you disrespect even the goddess whom you serve. We would pity her, did we not oppose uh, her. Uh, oh. Ma'am... I don't exactly serve anyone. I'm just working with her. That's it. If the world comes to an end, that's bad news, right? So the only choice that leaves is to try and protect it. Then again, you know, it could be a little tough the way things are. What with these, uh... What are they? Munchkins? Mannequins? Yeah, them. That's what I meant. Those things are getting real old real fast. It's ridiculous. Where do they all come from? Anyway, I plan on finding a way to get back home. Munchkin infestation or not. I'm just doing what I gotta do to make that happen. I'm not serving anyone or anything like that. Sure, I might not be a god, but I figure I have some hope. I mean, that's all a soldier like me's really got, right? <laughs> Mannequins have no place in this world. They are a foreign presence that unbalances a most delicate equilibrium. Huh? Know this, human. Mannequins are cursed mockeries of men that crawled forth from the rift and now befoul this realm. Their masters do no more than pull the puppet's strings. Really? So you aren't making them, then? There exists a portal which connects this plane to theirs. Seal that door, and no more of the puppets will be able to emerge. Meaning, they won't keep multiplying? A great deal of their taint has already spilt forth from the gate and into this realm. If you desire to stem its flow, Follow the trail and seek out the source. Closing a door sounds easy enough. But if that's really all it takes, why would you tell me? <laughs> Did you not listen? These beings surge through the portal even as we speak. 
Should you choose to seek it out, all you will find is endless battle and certain doom. As for us, we are but curious to see what manner of death you select for yourself. Hmm. First things first. Better let everyone know what's up. <laughs> so, uh, Laguna is sort of filling his, uh, the role he has in his own game. In, uh, in this game as well, where he sort of learns what is actually going on and then tells the party. I'd but just like to point out, I love how little just Cloud of Darkness, I, I am over this shit, we're done. Let me just tell you what to do and do it.